So in this video, I'm going to be walking you through uh, the new wheels for the S2000. I ended up going with a set of Regamaster Evo 2 wheels from Desmond. Um, some of you might not be too familiar with the entire uh, brand Desmond or the wheel Regamaster Evo. Um, so just going to try to make a little bit of a history in regards uh, to this video and give you some more information about the wheel as well. Because although they are a fairly well-known uh, wheel brand and wheel model, there's a lot of people that don't actually know about them, especially compared with the popularity of wheels like uh, Volk Racing or Advan, etc. So uh, let's dive into it. So I have the box here right now. Um, as you can see, we have the uh, Desmond logo here. The interesting thing is it actually says high quality European dignity. I'll touch in a little bit of uh, what that actually means. Regamaster Evo, this is kind of the wheel logo that they have for my S2000 specific sizing. Uh, so they can see Desmond Evo 2 stamped here. Uh, the size I went with an 18 by 9.5. Uh, just gloss silver in terms of color. And then a 45 offset. Obviously PCD is a uh, 114.3 and then a 5 lug and the center bore is a 73.1. So the other thing that we can note is that here it's stamped with the actual production date. So this is uh, 2022, February 17. So that's when these wheels were manufactured. Uh, just flipping to the other side of the box, uh, really the only other uh, thing is just the same sticker kind of replicated on the other side. But other than that, it's actually a fairly plain looking box. It's just standard. Um, so we'll actually get into details now. So we'll get into the actual unboxing of the wheel itself. Um, so just opening it up. We have here two protective cardboard pieces. Um, they're reinforced just on either opposite corner of the wheels just to protect it. Then we have this kind of foam sheet that's on top of the wheel itself. Take that off and you can see we have the wheel here in a plastic cover. Um, we'll go ahead, take this wheel out. And just the other things in the box is basically you have, um, this was taped down but obviously I've gone through this already, but this is the uh, valve stem. It's just a, can get it open here for you. It's a regular silver valve stem. Um, doesn't actually have any engravings or anything like that. It just looks fairly basic, but yeah, that's what you have. Um, additionally, you can order these wheels with stickers. So I ended up going with uh, black Evo stickers and then the rim stickers that go on the outer edge of the wheel, uh, they're red. But yeah, so let's actually look at the wheel itself now. So here we have the wheel basically out of that protective plastic sheeting. Um, as you can see, the face of the, and design of the wheel is very simple. This is reminiscent of what the original Degamas uh, Regamaster Evo wheels looked like. There are some slight differences. Um, I'll try to post a picture of what the original one looks like and kind of side by side next to what the Evo 2 looks like. But largely, it's still a very similar design. So we have this classic five-spoke design, um, kind of an inset hub area. So the main reason for that is that it's going to give you very good big brake clearance. You kind of look at the back of the wheel. Uh, your hub actually comes out fairly decently, even though it's a flat-faced wheel. So lots of brake clearance. And that was one of the main reasons why I went this, with this type of wheel was that I felt, you know, Brake clearance wasn't going to be an issue, especially on my car that has a BBK. And so before, I believe the Regamaster had multiple different model types. And the Evo was considered the lightest weight um, just because a couple of design things. So one of the things that I wanted to point out was if you look kind of on the inside of the spoke here, there's some cutting basically on the edge, inside edge. Uh, that's just to essentially remove some weight and I believe it'll add some structure as well. And then the same thing on the outer edge, if I look here, basically the outer edge of the face um, where it kind of meets the, the outer wheel, that also has some cutting as well. So again, um, just cutouts for uh, yeah, potentially more weight savings. 
etc. And if you actually look, it's probably a little bit harder to tell on camera, but it's not a complete flat face. It actually does uh, come out a little bit, so it's slightly convex, but I think that's something most people won't really notice. Um, and then again, kind of you have almost like a step lip design on the edge here with a, with a decent, decent sized lip. It's not huge, but um, it is there. If we kind of look on the back side of the wheel. So here you can see the hub, the, the holes where you're gonna have your studs go through. But then we also have these pockets kind of in between each of the lug studs. Um, and that's us again to take out some weight out of the wheel and then potentially I give you some clearance for if you're gonna be running a space or anything like that. Um, where your studs might be sticking through or you might have some of uh, the hardware, etc. that needs some clearance as well. And the other thing that, you know, maybe I haven't noticed on other wheels, um, but it does have on the back face here almost a recess um, between the inner edge and the outer edge. So the, wheel, the hub's actually going to sit on these two edges here, but then there's this recess here. I don't know if that's, you know, to further reduce weight. Um, to me, it kind of looks like that. But yeah, so that's just another interesting detail. Otherwise, kind of the back side is relatively simple. So on the inner edge of the wheel, uh, there is kind of some engraving here in addition to the various stickers. So here we have the, the VIA marking, um, and then 690 kg. Then we have the sizing of the wheel. So in this case, 18 by 9.5 and, uh, and a plus 45. There is a 2112 stamped here. I'm not too sure what that is. And then there's a section here that says made in Japan. It's kind of tough to tell on camera. And then looks like there's almost like another serial number that's etched in here. But in, like, in addition to that, we have our, again, this is just the size 18 by nine and a half, the PCD, so our five by one 14.3, 45 offset, and then our production date, which is the same one on the box. So this was uh, 2022, February 17th. And then just have some stickers that I have absolutely no idea what they mean. They're all in Japanese text. And here, this is more just the uh, JWL, which is the testing certification to ensure that these meet that standard. On the other details itself, there's a sticker Ironically, that also just says made in Japan on the interface. Um, and then here, looks like there's some more etching on the wheel itself. 73.1, I know that's the center board, but some of these other markings I'm not entirely sure of. And looks like nothing else in terms of stampings. But the other detail I wanted to show is we have this knurling on, the, on both sides of the wheel, so here. And if you don't know, uh, lots of companies they started doing this knurling, uh, mainly to prevent tire slippage, uh, mainly with the you know increased power and weight of modern day vehicles. Uh, there is a tendency for the tire to slip on the wheel if this is just a smooth surface. So they add this knurling, which kind of just grips onto the bead of the tire itself and keeps it more securely in place. So I kind of want to touch on some of the history in regards to uh, Desmond and then the Raga Master Evo wheel itself. Um, so this is known as the Evo 2. I believe it was around 2018 when they reintroduced this wheel uh, before it was originally known as just the Rega Master Evo. And that was a wheel dating kind of back, I think, in the sometime in the 90s, um, where this was a Japanese company, but these were all made in Russia. And they were pretty highly regarded because it was a very lightweight wheel, very strong properties, uh, forged at the time, and very popular in terms of you know certain cars. So you know you'll see them on um, S two thousands, NSXs, a lot of different Hondas, a lot of different JDM cars for that reason. Um, so that's why on the box it talks about European quality. I believe it's a throwback to where it was you know being built in Russia. All the new ones, they're actually built in Japan. Um, I'm probably gonna butcher the name, but Tanisia. They're doing all the manufacturing for this wheel. And the other thing that you might notice is that this wheel looks very similar to the Spoon um, SW388s. 
And that's because the original spoon wheel and the De Regomaster Evo were both made by Desmond. Um, the spoon ones were obviously in a matte black finish and that was exclusive to spoon. So that's kind of um, where the two relationships started. Uh, spoon obviously brought back kind of around the similar time frame their uh, SW388 um, as a revival and built by uh, Tunisia. So, and it was shortly after that that Desmond essentially did the same and brought this wheel back. There are differences between the two wheels. Um, I won't get super into the details, but again, I'll kind of put a picture of what the new SW388 looks like compared to the Regamaster Evo 2. Um, so kind of developing and diving in a little bit more on this wheel itself. So again, like it was stamped on the wheel, it's made in Japan. Um, it is a fully forged wheel. I believe it's forged out of a aluminum uh, alloy 6061 blank. And this is the final product that we get here. So getting into some of the history behind the De so getting into the history behind the Desmond Regamaster Evo 2, uh, the original wheel, which was the De Regamaster Evo 1, or just known as the Evo, was originally released in 1995. Um, this was a very popular option at the time because it was a very lightweight wheel um, that was a true forged wheel as well. And kind of the nod to why the box says European quality is that the original wheel was manufactured in Russia, out of all places, but it was from a JDM wheel company. So it was kind of an interesting thing at the time when a lot of the JDM wheels that were forged were coming out of Japan. Here was a company that was using uh, manufacturing techniques out of Russia. Um, so this wheel, although it's the second iteration, it is a very close resemblance to the original Evo. Um, and this wheel itself was actually uh, kind of tweaked and designed by the original designer who had created the initial wheel, the Evo, back in 1995. So what this is, it's, it's a pretty awesome, um, I guess, tied to nostalgia for a lot of people that grew up with the original Evo design and to have it as a modern day offering. Now, the wheel is no longer made in Russia, um, as evident by the multiple indications on the wheel itself that this is made in Japan. Um, they're all forged in Japan. Um, and they start off with a solid piece of 6061 aluminum. So kind of very similar to all the other forging companies um, such as Rays uh, that make you know the Volk Racing wheels. This starts off with a similar process and then kind of throughout their forging process um, it's essentially compressed with 8,000 tons of pressure uh, to create the basic shape of the wheel and then from there it's machined um, to get the final product that we have. So uh, Tunisia is the company that does the uh, forging process and the manufacturing for these wheels. A uh, fun fact is that these are also, it's the same manufacturer that uh, produces the Spoon SW388 wheels. And for those of you that don't know, the original Spoon uh, SW388 wheels were also Desmond Evos, uh, but that was in an exclusive matte black finish. So that's why you see these um, looking wheels and obviously kind of companies like Rota with the slipstreams kind of uh, mimic that. But that's why you see uh, the Desmond Evo wheels as a very popular option on Hondas. And also um, another good example is GTRs because there were a lot of people running these wheels on GTRs um, due to kind of very good big brake clearance. So. Tunisia, I'm probably butchering that name, um, but they're one of the few wheel companies in the world that does um, manufacturing for OEM, motorsports, and then also the aftermarket market. Um, so the main thing that they do is obviously forging. Um, apparently, from what I have read, is that they're considered kind of the number two wheel manufacturing company um, and number two next to Rays, which makes the Volk Racing lineup. So, but other companies include, you know, BBS and then OZ Racing. But yeah, so they're one of the top manufacturers in terms of forged wheels. Um, and they've been around since 1993. And obviously they have a very big, um, strong motorsports background, similar to like the other examples that I had listed, um, such as in examples, they've been supplying Formula One wheels since 1993. 
and they do make a bunch of different magnesium forged wheels that are used on different racing series, um, such as the ALMS uh, prototypes, the Le Mans prototypes, um, the GT3 class, and the FIA and Super GT. So that's kind of um, a little bit of the history on the wheel itself. Um, again, kind of the, the, the main things that I was looking for on my S2000 was I wanted to jump up to an 18. I think 18 inch wheels on a stock body S2000 <laughs> look really cool. I, I don't know why, but I've seen a few examples and kind of that's always resonated with me. And so I had previous uh, bronze 17 inch Volk C28s on the car, um, but I kind of wanted to change it up. Um, I think black and bronze is a very classic color combination, but I just wanted you know to do something different, put a, put my own touch on the car. That wheel setup was from the previous owner. Um, so this is what I ultimately ended up with. So gloss silver, um, gonna be getting tires mounted on it tonight. Um, so I'll probably maybe either continue this video or maybe just start off as a completely new video of you know the tires on the S2000. Um, but yeah, so look forward to seeing that one and catch you in the next S2000 video. Thanks for watching. And hopefully you learned a little bit something about Desmond and the Regamaster EVO lineup.